Alright, y'all, so let's do it. Spoiler talk. Thank gods, I am mighty. <laughs> so, let's have some spoiler talk, shall we? And I told y'all the other day when I did my review of Age of Ultron that if you came in talking shit, spoiling it for people, trying to ruin everybody's day, I was going to ban you. And I banned like 10 of you assholes, okay? And uh, before I get into spoiler talk, um, one of y'all was like, enough with the 4K already. I'll tell y'all as much as I want every time I'm doing a 4K video, bitch, okay? Mohawk. One of y'all said, enough with the Mohawk talk. I talk about my Mohawk as much as I fucking feel like it. Mohawk. More specifically, this is called the Gentleman's Mohawk. Okay, the south of France, which was invented by Usher's Baba. Now, let's get into this. Uh, spoiler talk. Okay, so I'm going to talk about everything that I feel I need to talk about. I don't know how long this video is going to go. So I'm just going to talk, 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 talk until I feel like it. anything that comes to my mind, I'm going to talk about. Okay, so... Um, first spoiler, I'm going to get out the way. Um, the one that everyone tried to spoil, you know, for everyone else was, uh, Quicksilver dying. Um, I don't think it needed to happen. I thought it was kind of stupid. And then a few people thought that maybe it was a problem with the, maybe the continuance of the series as far as him being with Fox and then also being with us. <laughs> us <laughs> um, being with um, the uh, the Avengers, it was kind of like getting one out the way so that the other one could, so that Fox could keep him. I don't know. Um, I I don't think he needed to die. I thought it was stupid that he died. Who knows? Maybe we'll they'll bring him back. Someone that says something about since the time gem is now in in effect, maybe they'll uh, use the time gem. You know, maybe we'll see him again in the future. Um, who knows, maybe his high metabolism is working overtime and he'll live. I liked him. I really did like him. Um, I know a lot of people were arguing over whether which one was better. I liked them both now that I've had, had a day or so to think about it. I, I liked them both. I think they did a good job on both of them. It's just that there was that iconic moment in Days of Future Past and it was like that scene took the whole movie by storm. It was the best scene in the whole fucking movie. And it's like, okay, how are you going to top that? You know? So I think that's why a lot of people, including myself, are saying well, I like the other Quicksilver better. Um, so far, I'm still taking, sticking to my guns with that. Just because one was in one movie longer don't mean he was better. So, uh, yeah. So there's that. Okay? Then there's... I want to talk about Ultron for a minute because Ultron and Akasan did a really good job on his review. I, I suggest y'all take t check it out. He did a good job on pointing out a lot of things. I watched a few other reviews too, and uh, matter of fact, Akasan, if you're watching, you know, one day maybe me and you need to do like a a review together, you know, via Skype or something. So because I noticed you bring up a lot of things out, and I was like, man. I found myself feeding off of the stuff you were saying, like, yeah, and, you know, I would, there's stuff I could add and say, stuff I differed on that maybe would be pretty cool. But anyway, so, um, he really didn't seem like a threat. And a lot of people were saying Scarlet Witch seemed more like a threat than he was. And, you know, it was like the, the first suit that he had, the first body that he had was pretty menacing. Um, you know, and then when he switched, someone said he looked like a Disney character. I forgot who said that. They said it was just he didn't look right. He looked puffy and big. And I was thinking that, too. Like, for some reason, he was too funny. He wasn't as I thought he was going to be a much more darker character than what he was. Um, the first trailer, I'm going to show you something beautiful, you know, it... It, it just the way everything was set in that tone, it was set so dark and grim. It was like, yo, this dude is not to be fucked with. But Vision could deal with his ass. Vision, him and Vision were like evenly matched. And I noticed that 
you know, Vision, him and Vision were almost like the good and bad side of Tony Stark. That dawned on me after the movie. Like, um, last night, I was saying, I was like, you know, it's like Vision is his good side. And Ultron is his bad side. And, you know, it was just like I said, Ultron was not a threat to me. He, he didn't scare me. I wasn't worried. You know, it just, I don't know. It was, he was just too funny. He was um, almost like a man-child in certain ways. You know, he would get mad and angry and... I don't know. It's just, uh, yeah, in some point, he had a lot of facial expressions. He did. Like, a lot of facial expressions. Like, detailed facial expressions. It may not have been needed, you know. I, I don't know. It was just something about him I didn't totally like, you know. And I remember before I did the review a few videos, before I said something about, yo, I think he's going to be an iconic character just by all these one-liners he's got. But it kind of fizzled out. It was, you know, lackluster, anticlimactic for me to watch the movie and see him, but I I, I still, I, he was cool nonetheless, but I just, you know, he wasn't what I expected, okay, which brings me to Vision, and um, I thought that part was real hot when, uh, <laughs> when Thor landed on the casing, when, you know, he was uh, incubating it or whatever, and he threw the lightning in there, that shit was hot, I liked how he did that, and, um, uh, you know, it was like him and Thor were about to fight for a minute, but he was just a little overwhelmed by being released, I guess. And um, Ryan Wright has said something about how it was like, when it happens, it's totally unexpected. And they did do that the right way. Vision picked up Thor's hammer, handed it to him, was like, all right, let's go. And everybody's like, <coughs> like, yeah, it's like, what? So, um, if, and I got to thinking about this, I said, if Ultron is the bad and Vision is the good in Tony Stark, then Tony Stark's good side is a fucking saint. His good side is absolutely worthy of wielding Thor's hammer. Because remember Vision, Vision said that he was on the side of life, I believe, right? So since he's on the side of life, preserving life, allowing things to live, of course someone that good natured would be probably be wor uh, worthy of wielding Thor's hammer, which I thought was, you know, cool. Hey, remember when Banner, <laughs> remember when, when Banner uh, got, you know, when the uh, Scarlet Witch got him? Remember how he was looking like he was just standing near the plane like, hey, you got to need me or not? Because, you know, I'm, I'm about to get a, make a peanut butter jelly sandwich, you know? And and he's kind of like looking like, she's like, yeah, I'm going to finish this job or whatever she said. And I was like, Banner looks like real dumb and naive right now. <laughs> then all of a sudden, <laughs> he's rampaging the countryside into the city. I was like, she got him. So... Um, that shit was hot because, um, and I'm just, this is all spoiler talk. This is just me talking to you about the movie like a regular guy would, like I said. There will be no, the cinematography was extraordinary. But, anyway, so, what was cool was, um, what was the, ne what did he call the name of, uh, the, the Hulkbuster? Or the thing that was holding the Hulk. But didn't he call it something? What, did he call it Elizabeth? I can't remember. Ooh, yeah. Dig it. But anyway, he set down like this thing that carried everything he needed in case he needed to fight the Hulk. And uh, first he sent down these uh, this uh, encasing for the Hulk. The Hulk could not get out of this thing. But he, he, he basically... I guess bashed the ground or was hitting it so hard that the ground caved out underneath him. So he was able to go underneath and get out. And then Tony gets in the, you know, Hulk Buster and, uh, you know, they're getting in it, fighting all over the place, destroying shit, <laughs> going through buildings. They, they, they did that really well. Like I said, that was like worth the whole thing. Um, they use Loki's scepter. 
in uh, this again. They, you know, uh, Ultron used it to control this one doctor to help him make a body, which was supposed Vision was supposed to be his new body. Um, and uh, you know, I thought it was real sly how the uh, Scarlet Witch. Um, uh, kind of, you know, she, 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 she undid what what the scepter did, but she kind of did it on the sly, like here you go, nigga, wake up, hurry up, cause we need your ass. Like you gotta see how she did it, how she she threw up the red essence, to scarlet essence to to get her, um, uh, to get it well to throw her out of the trance that she was in, um. Let's see what else, what else, what else. What else? Oh, you know what? That that uh, the thing that Ultron did with the uh, lifting the city was really reminiscent. Did, am I the only one that, when I was watching it, was thinking of the whole man is not man is steel, but Superman Returns thing where he lifted that island that Lex had made into space? Am I the only one that was thinking about that while that thing was coming up into the air? I was thinking about that. And one of y'all got me amped because you had point you pointed out you had said something like, excuse me, you had said Thor. You, they really show how powerful Thor is in this movie. To me, first off, uh, well, let me let me say let me speak to that and say that I thought that Thor was gonna catch this island or whatever, or this city, but he didn't. You know, I, I saw what he did. You know, he used his hammer to hit that that lock or whatever it was and you know but i thought they were good i mean because thor is supposed to have power like superman and he is very powered down in these movies like he's 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 punching regular men and you know it's like he's just a really badass viking with lightning power and flight he's not like a, a, a on level of Superman type power, and I want to see something like that from him. If I had seen Thor lift this thing or catch it, I would have been like, "That's what I'm talking about, man." And I love all these characters. Like, not like I'm specifically a, a Thor fan. I absolutely love the fucking Hulk. I love him. Wasn't that hot when um after uh when 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 when, when uh Black Widow. It was like, all right, that's great and all, but I need the big guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he jumped up. That was hot. How she was, um, she was on his back, and and you know he would, you know, he jumps miles at a time. I was like, yo, she was like, ah, you know. And he let her down. She was like, all right, dude, you gotta do the, yo, he, <laughs> Ultron tried to kill the asses. The Hulk jumped all the way into the plane that Ultron was in. And Ultron, see, this is what I mean. Ultron was too funny. And, like, when he got on there, he was what? Like, what the fuck? What the hell's going on here? And then Hulk threw him out or something or exploded. The I was just like, man, it was just so funny. Because I was like, yo, like, he's getting away. And no, the Hulk literally jumped into the plane. You know, I mean, I was just like, wow, Hulk is killing it in this movie. Absolutely incredible. Um, one of you had said to me earlier, watch it again. It gets so much more deep. I already recognized the deepness of it. But I told you that I was there for smash and bash some superhero shit. That's what I said. I didn't say I didn't recognize the depth that they went into the characters. I said that what I went there for. As a matter of fact, I mentioned that certain parts were kind of, you know, heart tuggers right there, you know, messing with the heartstrings. I notice stuff like that. Okay, I'm not I'm not shallow when I watch a movie, but there are specific things that I went to see. So while I will notice depth, I will really react to the energy and excitement of the action scenes. That's my favorite part of going to see a superhero movie. I remember when I was younger, I would buy a lot of movies and I was so, I watched so much TV and movies, especially this is back when VHS tapes. I knew at what part was every superhero part of a movie. So I would sit there, the tape would be already around, and I'd fast forward. 
five minutes and around 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, I know Batman's going to show them this part. I will, I will buy my movies and only watch the superhero parts. So the more superheroes are in a movie, the better for me. Like I said, I think this it's always been a mistake. And I was watching another reviewer that said something about Transformers. And they were saying, you know, why do these humans have to be the role, the head lead roles in these movies? Why can't the robots be the lead? Exactly. Why not? You can make a totally digital film if you wanted to, or at least, you know, the digital characters in real world. You could do that if you wanted to, but you don't. The, 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 the Autobots and Decepticons were always the stars of the, um, the animated series. It was never Spike and his dad. They were supporting characters. They were not lead roles. I would love to... Remember how Optimus Prime left at the end? He was like, I'm coming for you. Well, I would love to see a standalone movie of Prime handling... The uh, Quintessons or something. We're going to look for the Quintessons. That would be incredible. But anyway, it's getting back to Age of Ultron. So, Captain America almost lifts the hammer. Makes it go, because he's almost worthy. Maybe his soul is just not pure enough. I think he was worthy now, considering how good nature he is. Hey, hey watch your language. You know what I mean? They fucked with him through the whole movie about that. And I thought that that was great. That's what a team does. That's what friends, that's what family does. You know that in real life, he'll get fucked with for years for that. And he said it. He said, oh, that's not going to go away anytime too soon. <laughs> he said it, you know. Um, so I guess Dr. Claw or whatever his name is, he got his arm yanked off by Ultron. So I guess that's how he's going to be Mr. Claw or Professor Claw or... Whatever his name is, I know nothing about the guy. I don't know who he is. And I think Ryan or somebody had said, I expected him to be in the movie more. I did too. I was like, that's it? I'm saying people are talking about this dude like, yo, it's Claw. Like, you know, and he's not even in the movie that much. You know? Um, that whole scene with uh, the metal running over his hand, like uh, Ultron being formed and everything, that didn't happen. Um, I don't know, man. It just... Um, I don't know, it almost sounded like I didn't like the movie. I'm just getting into things that I didn't like talking about that stuff, but I really liked the movie. I had a good-ass time watching that damn movie. I still don't know which one's better. I still don't know which one's better, you know. Um, um, you know, everyone talks about the big, long shot of them all fighting together uh, in the first Avengers, you know. And, uh, yeah, that's that was, I mean, that was really cool, you know, and, how uh, Iron is flying down, and, you know, him and Cap are fighting together, and he hits the shield with the beam, and flies up, and all that, and you see Hulk and Thor fighting together. You know, I mean, yeah, there's that shot. And in the beginning, you know, I think there was, you know, that continuous shot was like that in the beginning. I think there was another one, too, but my mind's a little scrambled now trying to recall everything that I'm thinking about. Um... Scarlet Witch, I really, like I said, I liked how they did her because she was almost, uh, like they said, weird, almost like uh, <laughs> possessed or something, you know? Like when they first introduced her, there's that, you know, weird, you know, skittish movement that they had with her. Um, I think that's about it. I would have loved for Wolverine to make a cameo. Um, but hey, we're going to get Spider Man, so, you know, that, that's, that, that's good enough for now. But anyway, post your comments down below. Um, is there anything that you in particularly like to go ahead and post it? Um, I'm only mentioning what I can remember that I really liked right now. So if you enjoyed my spoiler talk for Age of Ultron, let me know. I will give more on other movies. Okie dokie. One million subscribers. Woo!